Hey everybody, welcome to our second Java Calculator tutorial in NetBeans. In this tutorial, we create our user interface, and today we're gonna start programming. Before we programming, so I wanna show you how we can make this appear this scroll. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the scroll bar, and you'll see here in the properties these two place. So it says horizontal scroll bar policy. We'll say never if you don't want to see it and afford it also never and it is gone alright and now I want to change the name of the variable uh, and I will say text okay so what I want to do right now when I click this button I want it to put a number here so okay so I will right click it I will say action, action perform, and it will go here. What I'm gonna do is say text dot pent right here one. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do for the number two, I will do the same thing. Text dot append two. I I've already done almost all of them because it's not fun to do again and again same thing so I just want to I show you the period so I will say right click event action performed here what I'm gonna do is I will say text append right, append period sorry okay Nice. Now, before I run the program and see if you're really able to put the numbers, I just want to do one more thing as a programming. So, what I want to do is I want to create a new class and name it public uh, double, um, reader. So, I want to have a class that anytime I want to read a number from this table then I can call and it do the reading for me so what I need is I need a double number so double number number one and I need a string s so I'm going to string s right now here but so I will read the string in the text area which is um, I think that like this. So now I read the, uh, uh, the string the text area, but I have to convert it to a double number. What I'm doing is I will say number one double. Okay, value of. Sorry. Value of string s. So now. I convert my double uh, by um, uh, my string to a double number. That's good. Okay. okay. We'll see. Okay, like yes. All right. So now we have to return the double number because the class is expecting me to return a double number. This is what I set it to do. So I will just return number one as a number. All right, and a anytime I, I, I uh, call this class, it will return a double number to me. Okay, so now we can go to our and run our program and we can see if you're able to put numbers in the text area when we put the buttons then my computer is too low and it's going to take a while to do for us but it will work eventually it says running here and it's ready and there we go and let's try so yes we are able to put uh, numbers and everything don't worry about the design 
mistakes. I don't know this guy. So okay, say it works, but others don't work. So what we're gonna do in the next tutorial? Gonna start making our buttons work. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial, and please subscribe our channel. And if you wanna download the videos and the source code, you can download it from videotutorial.com. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.